Okay, when we're trying to find the asymptotes of a rational function, um, I usually start by looking for the vertical asymptotes, and those occur where the denominator is equal to zero because you can't divide by zero. So if I take my denominator, x squared plus 2x plus 1, and I set that equal to zero, I'm going to have to factor in order to solve this for x. So x times x, that'll give me my x squared term. Factors of my constant, 1 times 1, would give me my n term of 1. And then in order to get a positive 2 x's in the middle, I would have to have two positives here. Um, so x plus 1 quantity squared would be my factored form. So that means that if x were equal to negative 1, um, I would end up with a 0 in the denominator. So my vertical asymptote has to be located at x equals negative 1 on the graph. So when I check my graph, um, sure enough, I have a vertical asymptote here at x equals negative 1. You can see as we scroll down the graph, um, that the curve is approaching from the positive and from the negative direction, um, approaching that asymptote but doesn't cross it. Okay, the next thing that I want to look for would be my horizontal asymptote. And the easiest way to find your horizontal is to look at the graph. Um, if I go back to Geometer's Sketchpad and take a look at the graph, um, I see that I've got here um, with this side, it's approaching the x-axis but doesn't quite touch it. When I look at the positive side, right, we cross over here, but it's the end behavior we're looking for. And again, I'm approaching the x-axis, but um, I'm not really going above or below it um, at the ends. So this would be my horizontal asymptote here at the x-axis. So the horizontal asymptote then, since it is um, at the x-axis, is going to be located at the line y equals 0. And that leaves me with checking to see if I have any slant or oblique asymptotes. And slant asymptotes only occur when the degree of the numerator um, is exactly one more than the degree of the denominator. Since my numerator's degree is 1, that's actually less than the degree of the denominator, which is 2, and so there will be no slant asymptotes. For this rational function.